In this video, I want to show you how you can perform a full backup of your Windows 10 PC, how to schedule this backup to run regularly, and I will also show you the different restore options with a demonstration of each option. This video is divided as follows. Chapter 1 – Preparing the external drive Chapter 2 – Configuring backup and schedule Chapter 3 – Restoring some files and Chapter 4 – Full image restore So feel free to jump to any chapter you want and all the chapters are in the description. Chapter 1 – Preparing an external drive You need to have an external drive that has the size of your internal drive in your Windows 10 PC Plug the drive in the USB port of your PC, preferably choose a USB 3.0 port. After the external hard drive is inserted in your PC, we need to format it. So before proceeding with the format, make sure that you don't need the data that is on the drive in case there is data on this drive. To format the drive, open File Explorer and then in File Explorer, Make sure you're selecting the correct drive, right click on it, and then click on Format. For file system, choose NTFS. For allocation unit size, keep it by default. And for volume label, put the volume label you want. Usually I put always a volume label that is meaningful. So here I put Samsung Backup because the disk is Samsung and it is for backup and then keep quick format selected and then click on start. So this is here your last chance before formatting the drive and losing all the data on it. So if you're sure this is the drive, click on OK and the formatting will start. It should take less than a minute to finish. When the formatting finishes, click on OK on the message format complete and let's close everything and go to chapter 2 which is configuring the backup and the schedule. Now that the drive is ready, we need to configure the backup and the schedule. To do this, in the search box type control panel to open control panel and then hit enter. Control panel will open. If the default view is by category, you can find backup and restore under system and security. So here it is. And if the view is large icons or small icons, you can find it by alphabetical order, as you see here. So I'm going to open it from here. It's the same thing. The first time you start the program, this is the screen you'll get. So here, click on Setup Backup. It should detect automatically the external drive that is connected to your PC. If you have many external drives connected to your PC, make sure you're selecting the one that you want to save the backup on. And then click on Next. On the next screen here, you can choose the files you want to back up and if you want to back up the system image also. Here, because we want to back up everything, I'm going to keep it on Let Windows Choose. And this option will back up everything, system image and files and everything. And then I'm going to click on Next. And this is a summary of what will be backed up and when it will be backed up. So as you see, everything on the system will be backed up, a system image and all the users. And you have a schedule that is by default a weekly schedule. So feel free to keep it weekly if you want it like this. But for me, I'm going to change it for daily backup. So I clicked on change schedule and under how often I changed weekly to daily and 7 p.m. is good for me. So I just click on OK. And once all the settings are as you want them, click on Save Settings and Run Backup. So it will run a first backup and it will also program a schedule according to what you selected in the schedule. At this stage here, you can close the backup program and it will continue running in the background and it will also launch each day at the scheduled hour to perform the backup. But here for the purpose of this video, I'm going to accelerate this video and show you what happens when the backup finishes. And the backup finished, as you see. There are still two things that I want to bring to your attention before going to the Restore chapter. The first thing is that 
if space is needed on the drive, the backup will automatically delete the oldest backup and also make sure that you always keep your drive attached to your PC so that the backup succeeds. In chapter 3, I'm going to explain to you how to restore files or folders if you want to. And later in chapter 4, I'm going to explain to you how to perform a full image restore. To restore files, you need to start the backup and restore program. So in the search box, type control panel, launch control panel, and then click backup and restore. And here you need to click on restore my files. When you click on restore my files, you have this options here. So you can search for files, you can browse for files, and you can browse for folders to restore complete folders. For this example, I'm going to only browse for files. It's the same for folders. So click on browse for files and it will detect the backup directly if your disk, of course, is connected to the PC. And here you can just drill down and select the file you want. I drilled down here and I selected the file from a user called whose and I want to, let's say, restore this file. So I selected the file and then just click on add files and then click on next. And here, I don't want to restore it to the original location. I want to restore it on my desktop. So I clicked in the following locations. And then I'm going to click on Browse and choose Desktop. And this way, it will restore the file from this user to my user on my desktop. So here it is restoring the file as you see. When the restore finishes, you'll get this message saying that your files have been restored. Just click on finish and close the backup program and here you see the file was restored successfully on my desktop. In chapter 4, I'm going to show you the full image restore options that you have. You basically have two options. The first option is to restart your Windows 10 machine from the recovery menu under settings in Windows 10. That is of course if your Windows 10 machine is still running. And the second option is to restart your PC using the USB installation key of Windows 10 and then going to recovery options. So let's start with option 1. Click on the start menu, then click settings. Here you have update and security. Click on it. And then you have recovery. Click on recovery. And you have advanced startup. You see under advanced startup you have restart now. Click on this button and Windows will restart in recovery mode. And this is the recovery menu. Here you have to click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options. And under advanced options here, you have system image recovery. Before you click on it, make sure that the external drive that contains your image backup is hooked to the PC. And then click on system image recovery. And the PC will restart again and it will go into recovery mode. So this is it. Now starting the recovery mode. When it starts, it will prompt you to choose an administrator user to perform the recovery. So here I chose KST, the administrator user. I'm going to put the password and click on continue. And here it is scanning the external drive. And it detected it as you see. And it selects automatically the latest image. But here I'm going to show you also if you want to select another image. So click on select a system image. Then click on next. And here, choose the drive once again. And then click on Next. And you will see all the backups that are on the drive. I'm going to select the latest one. And then click on Next. And here, all you have to do is click on Next. And here is the summary of the restore. And careful, this restore will wipe everything on the internal drive. So once you're sure, click on Finish. And this is a warning saying that it will wipe everything. Click on yes and the restore will start. After the restore finishes, the computer will restart automatically with the restored image. And here's the computer restarting and the restored image is applied and it's starting normally. So that was option one. Restore option two is to restart using the USB installation media of Windows 10 and then performing a full image restore. If you don't have a USB installation media of Windows 10, you can take a look at my video in the description on how to create a USB installation key for Windows 10.
The first step is to remove the backup media from the PC and insert the Windows 10 installation key into the PC. If the backup media is still connected to the PC along with the Windows 10 installation USB key, the PC will not restart from the USB installation key. This is why we remove it. While the PC is shut down, turn it on and press the hot boot key that will take you to the BIOS setup and here select USB storage device and hit enter and the PC will start from the Windows 10 USB installation media. On this screen here on the Windows setup dialog box, click on next and then click on repair your computer. Of course, do not click on install now. Here on this screen, click on troubleshoot and here you have the system image recovery option. Click on it, select Windows 10. This is the only option. And here Windows will prompt you to insert now the backup media. So insert it now and then click on retry. And now it will scan the backup media and it will detect the backup on it. Just click on next and here leave everything by default and then also click on next. On the next screen here you'll see the summary of the restore. Make sure everything is what you need and then click on finish. And here's a warning that everything on the internal drive of your PC will be wiped and replaced with the image that you are restoring. So click on yes, of course, if you are sure you want to wipe it and the restore will begin. When the restore finishes, the computer will restart automatically. And here's the computer restarting and the restored image is applied and it's starting normally. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.